Hello and welcome to Raising the Roof. I'm Shane O'Connor and uh, if you're watching this video that's because I'm presuming that you're a little bit interested in what we're going to be doing over the next 18 months, couple of years, I don't know. It's one of those projects that I'm not really quite sure how long it's going to take. Um, I was going to call all this um, how to knock down your house and hopefully rebuild another one because I'm not sure that it's as easy as or I'm not sure it's as certain as I was gonna say it's as easy it's certainly not as easy but I'm not sure it's as certain it's not a fate accompli that when you knock one house down that you're easily going to replace it with another one I know you plan to but as we'll probably see over the next few months um, what you plan to do and what you actually do are probably very often different things I wanted to do a video really just to um, give people coming to the channel because you'll see lots of other videos on my channel and you think what is this because um, I had 15 years in radio uh, with the BBC and uh, doing shows and um, so there's bits of that I do a podcast which I love with a good friend of mine Adrian Lacey where we talk about comedy programs comedy and sitcoms and stuff like that um, so there's like a kind of old mix of a bit of a hodgepodge of stuff on here but this is our new project Raising the Roof um, and it essentially is to document what's happening um, in our lives because we've decided to, um, as I say, knock our house down and rebuild um, another one. I'll tell you how we got there in a second and I'll tell you the whole story. And I thought it'd be nice if you, there was like a kind of touchstone video at the start of all of this. So if somebody happened across the channel and went, who's that gorgeous bald hunk um, and what's he up to? <laughs> or, you know, always to that effect. Um, you've got somewhat of an idea of what's what's going on and why, why I'm crying and, <laughs> and various other things like that. So let me take you back to 2016. This is where it all began. This is this is how far it is in the making because I'm recording this video in 2022, so it gives you an idea of of like the whole process. 2016 was kind of um, the start of all of this process. We were living we were living in a in a house. Um, and I'll, I'll show some pictures of, of, uh, of the house we were living in. We were living in this, so we bought this house. And um, it was a real stink. It was a real toilet of a house. It needed a lot of work doing to it. Even if you just refurbed what it had, which is not what we wanted to do, it was an awful lot of work. Um, and we bought this house and we, we significantly improved it we did an awful lot of work unfortunately i mean i've got a lot of photos I'm, i don't think i've got much of it. i've got a bit of video um but we spent about a year and a half i think um doing this place up and getting it to i mean we've you know got it to to where we wanted it to be kind of thing and and uh added a bedroom uh, you know all the, the normal stuff that you do and long story short um, we um, ended up in a situation where there was a massive planning application went in basically in our back garden. Um, we've subsequently been to the site and I've driven past the site so I kind of know that we did the right thing in moving but we moved. Um, it was one of those where I think they'd had the, the, the greatest number for the, for the Borough Council of objections to this planning application. 13, 1300 houses I think it was something of that nature. Um, and they'd had thousands of, of um, uh, uh, objections to it, and of course it still went through. They always do, don't they? I mean, I don't. I don't. If anybody now, I mean, leave a message in the comments below because I don't know any significant housing project um, that um, wanted planning permission that hasn't got it and it hasn't been approved. So we kind of thought, okay, we've got two options really. We're like, we can either live on a building site for the next. 10 to 15 years because 1300 houses i'm guessing that's kind of where you're going to be with like infrastructure and various other things that they're going to build or we can try and sell it and we can move and we, we didn't have any major confidence that we were going to be able to sell it at the time because um this you know this everybody knew about this and it's hardly likely that when you put your house up for sale that all of a sudden people are not going to know about it are they really so um you know the, the most um cursory of searches would reveal <laughs> they could have built a village behind you you know in your back garden um i mean it's heartbreaking because um as you see from the pictures everything that you could see that was green behind our house the whole lot um, which when we moved there was 
grazing pasture for cattle for a milk herd, small milk herd. Um, the whole farm, everything was going to be housing. It's criminal, really, but there you go. That's progress, I think they they describe it as. Um, so we moved here to this current property in 2017. We were lucky enough to sell our property. We did a good deal. We did a good deal on this one. Um, and we knew we were always going to do something to this. And I think within about three months of living here, we'd had three architects round to discuss. <laughs> my wife, my wife had three architects round. Um, so, you know, we kind of knew we were going to do it. The original plan was that what we were going to do, we were going to um, uh, knock, the, knock the extensions down and build more significant extensions. That was the plan. We soon realised um, that when we started talking to structural engineers and the problem with architects, bless them, God love them, is that they go, can you draw this? And they go, yeah, I can draw that. Um, they don't often say it like that, but they go, yeah, I can draw that. And they draw it and you go, and how'd you build that? And they go, oh, it's an absolute nightmare. He was going quick, wasn't he? Um, so yeah, it was um, a complete and utter uh, struct structural, um, it's all happens when you do a video, doesn't it? Uh, it was an absolute structural nightmare. Um, they were talking about piling and ring beams and all, because the cost it like goes up exponentially when you do all this sort of stuff. So that was a no-go. We put a planning application in. We had our first planning application refused. Um, and then we put another application in and that was refused. And then we bought a caravan, which is, and we'll do some videos on this, is where we're going to live uh, while we're doing all of this. Um, and then we had another planning application <laughs> refused. Um, I was getting to the stage where I thought my credit card when I bought the caravan was going to get refused as well. You know, we were getting so many refusals. Um, we had, I mean, we were going to have a garage as well, and they, they outright got rid of that, you know. Um, more or less as soon as we moved in, my son was born, because uh, my wife, uh, Angelina, was heavily pregnant when we, when we arrived here, so we got one child. Um, we bought the caravan in 2019, so that's like two, he was about two, or just coming up to two, he was about one and a half, and um, then um, in 2019 also, uh, our, our daughter was born in the May as well, so we got the two kids. So we're kind of sitting there thinking, oh, God, I've got two kids as well, we're going to go and live in a caravan, we must be bonkers. Um, and we probably are as well. Um, long story short, we, we resubmitted uh, planning applications, we made it we modified it so we made it more modest that was their big thing it's not modest enough um, and as our planning consultants uh, said to them at the time he said where does it say in the planning rules that it has to be modest I mean it, you did we did feel kind of like it was being made up as they went along really um, in um, 2020 so the following year I lost my dad uh, sometime after Angelina lost her dad and the builder that we got lined up decided that they didn't want to do it anymore. I still couldn't tell you why. I mean, I'll have to dig the email out and read it here, but I mean, we just, uh, they didn't want to do it anymore. Right? I mean, I could say so much more about them and the anger still hasn't subsided, but to be talking to a company for a year, they're only a small outfit, small family business, and a local small family business as well, but to be talking to them for a year and for them to cry off, was pretty galling, pretty upsetting, and my bloody somewhere still around boiling point now, you know. But you know, you got to you got to let things go as well. That's the other thing I've learned so much with this. I'm so much more relaxed now. I can just go, okay, that's so you can't change that, can you? Can't do anything about that. What are you going to do? You've got to move on, and you've got to put your energies into something positive. So that's what we did. Um, we appointed a new builder in 2021, so last year, and so far, touch wood, we, you know, we, I mean, you never know, do you? You never know when, you, when you're going into a business relationship with a company, you never know whether it's going to be fab or not. So anyway, they're the, they're the company that we're dealing with. And we went through all the pandemic and all the rest of it as well, so um, it's been a, a hell of a journey, really, all told. Um, if you're wondering, by the way, Yes, I am getting rained on, but I'm coming to the end of the story now anyway, very soon. There's, there's a couple of sort of takeaways I wanted to just say before we finish, is, is that first of all, it's really important to say, you don't know how this thing's going to pan out. You really don't. And I hope you'll stay with us on the journey, because um, 
we'll be solving problems as we go along. I'm hoping to post videos on a kind of weekly, fortnightly basis and uh, give you an idea of, of the whole build. I mean, how do you build a house? I haven't got a first clue. I, I hope somebody here knows. But seriously, I haven't. I have not got the first clue how you build a house. I mean, I kind of know bits and pieces. And from when we did the refurb at the other house, I kind of, you know what I mean? I kind of know bits. But um, I'm starting to think, how, so what, how, what do you do? And then you dig a hole and what do you do? I don't know. Fill it with concrete and then, and then how do you know that that's level and labour? So we're going to find out all of this stuff as we go along. Time scales is the other thing. Um, you know, we, we don't, I did, people say to me, how long is it going to take? That is the first question that everybody asks when you say what you're doing. They go, and how long is it going to take? I don't know. We're hoping that it'll be finished within about nine months. But I don't know. I don't know. And you don't know. And the things that you get held up on are the things that you least expect to get held up on like getting back licenses and all that kind of stuff um but yeah that's about it so i just wanted to do a quick intro video just so that when you watch other videos you go oh yeah i know i remember what it's all about now and i wouldn't that's why the idiot is doing what he's doing and that's why he looks like he's having a nervous breakdown and probably because do you know thinking about this and i often say this to people i don't think they realize but i i used to i don't so much now but i used to wake up at like three o'clock in the morning and i just feel sick i mean i'd feel like i was just going to be sick um with worry we just think am i doing the right thing is this is this going to be okay and of course nobody can tell you no nobody can give you any kind of indication as to whether it's going to be okay or not we hope it is but i really hope that you come on the journey with us and that you enjoy it even if we're not maybe it's Sharon freud and you know what i mean maybe you can enjoy our, our misery um but yeah so we're just i'm so excited i'm so sick in equal measure um and i really do hope that you enjoy the videos and um and, and enjoy the journey that we're about to embark on will it be a disaster or will it be the greatest adventure that we've ever ever decided to embark on in our lives? Only time will tell. And um, I think it'd be fascinating not only to make these videos, but also to look back on the whole process. I'm not really quite sure what that was. It sounded like somebody being shot. That will make the next video, obviously. If you can, please like and subscribe, um, because it helps me immensely. And um, it might even help me enough that I can build a swimming pool in the field behind me. But um, that's a long way down the road, yes. Thanks for joining us and uh, and spending 10 minutes of your time watching me witter on, and um, I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully a bit drier, because I'm getting quite wet now. I'm going in, I've had enough.